all he has to do is fill in a form and tick in a checky box exercise and my date of birth's coming into it. Well, I'm sorry, I wanna know why. And I wanna know exactly what I'm paying my taxes for. You know, maybe I could just have an administrator doing that, right? Mm. Why do I need a police officer that doesn't even know what his next... I mean, for goodness sake, I used to work in the corporate world. My help desk used to know what the escalation process was. How can a police officer say it's above my pay scale, right? Mm. I think that's just totally unacceptable. And Well, he's putting I think you down as a woman, isn't child, he? Yeah, the mum's going to stand up. The mum's going to stand up. So he's just trying to get he's just trying to get out of the situation. He's trying to get mm -hmm. out of the tension. Yeah. And yeah. so he's just he just wants to do his job and get out and get away and he's not thinking ahead. And what Zara did was she did like what Lisa and I talked about with the piece of paper and the pencil. Like you you anytime you go to a meeting, you you go, one second, what was it you said? And <laughs> and everybody goes, Oh, wait a minute, this is giving me a record. Uh, and that's what Zara did was she goes, okay, so what happens the next time this happened? Officer Smith, is it? You know, it's like, now if this happens again, you told me it's okay. And it's not Good gonna be question. a problem. That, it, it put the responsibility on him. And that's when he went, that's why it was an unconscious confrontation is to say, what happens if it happens next time? And you, and you look for him to answer now, he can't get out of the situation. That's why so, I'm saying. So, John, there's my problem with, with that. And it's nice and it's quite amusing that we have this power. Was this in the UK or in Iran, Sarah? Oh, no, this was like Saturday gone. Oh, right, this okay. Was this was very recently. So you can, the, if you want me to put a picture of my colour, no, I've laid no, it all no, like no. across my <laughs> drive. It was no, quite no. amusing. Oh. Little boys were driving past going, no, but I'm you just... like some help? I said, do you fancy brick laying? It's still all there. <laughs> so, all there. Yeah, I mean, so the thing is this, that you're an intelligent woman. I'm an intelligent man. My skin colour, I have never had a bad experience with a police officer ever, even when I was getting arrested a couple of times in my youth. So the way you speak to a police officer, the way I speak to a police officer is respectful, but purposeful. Assertive, assertive possibly. Purposeful yeah, I, think, I, think you nailed it. I think you're nailing the major point here, Jonathan, is that escalation occurs with how you talk to the person. So this guy gets out of the car and comes after Lisa or comes after Kalyani. If they had talked to that guy disrespectful or made statements on him is what I say. You shouldn't have been doing this. Yeah, he's he's coming through that window. So even when you got arrested, you didn't say to the cop, you know, you shouldn't have been here. You shouldn't have, you didn't do that. But that's where this escalation occurs. So, so we teach these communication guidelines where you don't escalate. And then this unconscious confrontation is how you you de-escalate because your unconscious brain has all the energy. And so what happens is if you if you say the right thing, that person doesn't have the energy to start a fight. And I do this all the time. I'll tell you a quick story is is I I go to an elementary school and I walk into the classroom and the teacher, I look around and there's one kid that's been been given trouble. And I don't see him in the class and she motions to the back. So there's a little room in the back. So he's in seclusion basically. So I walk up there, I go, what happened? And she goes, he uh, he wouldn't wear his shoes. I told him either put your shoes on or go back in the room. So I'm like, okay. So I walk back into my open it and there's this big swing, this big like circle, like where you can sit on and it's attached to the middle of the room and you can sit on it, swing in this room and stuff. And he's kicking it. He's just sitting there kicking it. He's all upset. He's all energized. And he's kicking the thing. And I'm trying to find a spot in the room not to get kicked by this thing swinging. So I'm sitting in the corner and I watch him and he's just energized. And I go, I'm waiting for him to look at me. So I just sit there and he looks at me. I go, are you happy? Which those are, are you okay?